All right, we are the Smoky Bears, and we are addressing uh, fire emergency evacuations. Uh, this is a very important subject for us because um, in addition to the people that suffer from um, asthma and other things from smoke inhalation from fires, uh, thousands of people across the world lose their homes or have their homes damaged due to forest fires every year. And some of us, uh, like me, actually have members of our family who have died in forest fires. So it's important all over. Uh, we identified three personas that we wanted to help with our app. Uh, emergency managers who need to collect data from all over and be able to make decisions off of that data. Rescuers who are on the grounds and um, are the front lines actually responding to things. They need very specific information and no distractions. And victims who just need to get out of there and not be distracted. They also have the thing where we can't set up anything with a victim beforehand, so we need standardized tools to address them. We mocked up an app uh, to help a rescuer on the ground um, at quickly and accurately identify where a fire is and where it's likely to change. Uh, this app will update dynamically based on pushes, pushed information from a server, and it also shows them um, where they are, where they're going, and how to get there. In the market, the existing tools are all very complicated and not easy for people on the ground to understand, so that's why we directed there. Uh, we're looking to use visualizations to help people communicate and also leverage smartphone technology because it's so pervasive nowadays. Uh, we're about to show you a demo that has um, an example of the information sources we're using, uh, NOAA satellite images and uh, weather data for the um, managers and Google APIs for the rescuers along with Twilio and uh, Clarify to help um, interact with the public. Here's a demo. Uh, part one is lo gathering location data from our users. When there's a fire, we send out a text message to everyone in the area asking, where are you? They use the standard uh, tools inside their operating system to share their location with us. This works for Android and iOS. It's very, very easy for them to do. We take this text message from them, again with Twilio, and we distill it to get the coordinates of where they are. We then send them a Google link and uh, also just their coordinates to show we did it, and ask them to send us photos if they see anything dangerous so that we can crowdsource data. If they follow that Google link, they see a map with where they are, a location that we're sending them to where rescuers can meet them, and uh, how to get there. All right. If along the way they see something dangerous, they snap a photo, they go back to the text message app, they send us that photo, and you know, you're nervous, you might hit the wrong button. So we verify that data with Clarify. We uh, send it to our server, who sends it to Clarify, who does analysis on it. And if it's not a real fire, we tell them that it's not a real fire uh, and ask them to send another image, uh, which updates um, and will then be added to our database and cause us to reroute people if ne necessary. Um, we also have a mobile app for rescuers. Uh, so this is what the rescuer would look at. It shows where they are, where the fire is. They can zoom around, look at different locations. Um, and if they need to, they can click a button at the top that shows them more details about what's going on, uh, a name of where they're going so that they can talk about it, other team members who are going there, and their estimated time of arrival. Finally, we address the future with an AR experience for rescuers. Imagine that they had Google Glass. You can see which directions fires are in, even if you can't actually see where the fire is, and also an overlay of where victims are located. So the, the number represents the direction, and the value is how many people are there. Uh, finally, uh, we wanted to say that there are some constraints that we're trying to address with this, and it's extensible. <laughs> <laughs> I love this concept. Um, one thing, I, I, I'm glad you addressed the augmented reality things. That, that was going to be my question. Um, but in terms of the victim or the, the rescuee user, I was thinking it would be cool to have them, like you can say, hey, you're in an area. We need information about that area. We don't have any. Can you point the camera in this direction and take a picture to collect data? That would be a very easy thing for us to add because we already have a text message loop going with them. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, working with people who actually have experience in this field, we'd be able to add more details to this. Fantastic. Uh, 
Um, so typically, uh, emergency managers and, and uh, rescue personnel are in extremely limited bandwidth situations. Um, I see that you guys have some, some of the satellite data that's pulling out of Google Maps. How do you kind of uh, limit that or make it possible for them to work in those uh, bandwidth limitations? Uh, text messaging is about as light as you can get. Sending the images is kind of complicated, but I'm sure that we could also optimize, like, uh, because this is an app that you send out, they can preload the maps, for example, and not need to access the network for that. We're just sending coordinates of how to get from A to B and a route as well. Awesome. Thank you.